There we go. As you can see, even the Nakies love the Greek yogurt ice cream bar snack. I don't think they have a preference of flavor though. They seem to like every flavor equally. Coach Craig, and in today's video, I'm going over my top 10 low calorie, high protein snacks. Everyone knows that in order to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. However, a lot of people, they seem to skip meals. They think that snacks are bad. Oh, I never snack. I'm going to lose weight. I don't snack. I suggest that if you're hungry, you in fact do consume a snack. And so without further ado, in no particular order, here are my top 10 high protein, low calorie snacks. Number one, smoked sockeye salmon. And why this kind of salmon? Well, this particular salmon is much lower in fat. As you know, if you're on a diet, you need to be in a calorie deficit. Other kinds of salmon, although great and do contain more healthy fats, this one, very low in calories. How low? Well, the entire package, 140 grams, only has 180 calories. It has zero, that's right, zero carbs, so you can have this if you're on a keto diet, as well as 33 grams of protein and only four grams of fat. How can you go wrong? You can eat this on the go, on your own, just open it up, have a snack before bed, or you could have it as a wrap, a sandwich, or as I do, an open-faced rice cake sandwich. I often eat these for breakfast, tastes absolutely amazing, tons of protein, healthy fats, low in calories. Number two, and I eat these every single day, oftentimes more than once, Greek yogurt ice cream bars. The ones I eat, the blue menu variety, they only contain 100 to 110 calories and have five to six grams of protein. And although technically they're not really all that high in calorie at five to six grams of protein per 100 calorie serving, however, in comparison to haagen ice cream bars, which contain 290 calories and only four grams of protein, you can see that these contain over three times more protein per 100 calorie serving. And so if you like ice cream the way I do, ice cream is a trigger food for me. If I open up a two liter, before you know it, the entire container's gone. I have no willpower around ice cream. I'm a normal human just like you. I have cravings, I wanna eat the ice cream, I can't stop eating it. Rather than that, I can have portioned out serving sizes. At worst, I eat the whole box, it's only 600 calories. That's not bad. In comparison to haagen well over double that many calories. And so with Greek yogurt ice cream bars, it's a quick and easy snack I can take me on the go in the car, driving to the gym, going shopping and so on. Highly recommend you give Greek yogurt ice cream bars a try. There we go, as you can see, even the Nakies love the Greek yogurt ice cream bar snack. I don't think they have a preference of flavor though. They seem to like every flavor equally. Number three, protein powder with a spoon. Every month I seem to have a different favorite. Right now my favorite is Luckier Charms Marshmallow Cereal Flavor. Absolutely amazing. And what I really like about it is it takes so long to chew. You're sitting in front of the TV watching a movie or whatever, and I sit here, and I, I'm not making this shit up. I do this almost every day. I'll sit here with my protein jug, have my spoon, take a spoon, I eat it, and it lasts like a minute. I just a little chew it. It's a little flavor. It's all protein. Well, not all, but most. I'll read some macros. Per scoop, 127 calories, 1 gram of fat, 3 grams of carbs, 26 grams of protein. How can you go wrong? It's a low-calorie, high-protein snack. You could pretty much eat for half an hour and hardly consume any calories because it's a slow process. It's kind of like when you eat popcorn. Very slow, takes a long time to eat. In comparison, if you're eating a chocolate bar, it's over in a minute. You eat slowly and you give your body the time to recognize that you're full because it takes usually 20 minutes for your stomach to send enough signals to the brain saying, yeah, you can stop eating. And don't knock it till you try it. A lot of people see eating a dry protein powder and uh, what are you doing? Don't knock it until you tried it. It's been a staple of mine for every single contest prep I've done for decades. And I'm eating it now in the off season. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm happy where I am. I'm trying to main gain. And so if I can do it now when I'm not on a diet and I like it that much and I have private chefs, I can eat whatever I want, yet I'm still having protein powder with a spoon out of the container. Does that not tell you that it actually tastes amazing? And there's so many choices and ways to eat this. And so protein powder definitely has to be in a top 10 list for low calorie, high protein snacks. Number four, beef jerky. Beef jerky in general is going to be low in calories and high in protein, but there are some better than others. 
A 28 gram or one ounce serving of Costco steak strips contains only 60 calories and packs nine grams of protein. That truly is remarkable. And these, they take a long time to eat. As we said with the protein powder, or if you're eating popcorn, it's a slow snack. It takes a long time to eat. In comparison, that chocolate bar is down in one minute. So if you're eating beef jerky, you're chewing on it, taking a lot of time, and your stomach will recognize that you're eating, you're getting full, and it'll send a signal to your brain saying, it's okay, you can stop eating. And even if you pick a higher calorie variation, it's still gonna only be about 80 calories per ounce. They also sell single serving sizes about 35 grams, 100 calories in a package, and you can't go wrong with 13 grams of protein. Jack Links also sells a single serving size portion, 35 grams, 100 calories, 13 grams of protein. Can't go wrong. It's a snack you can take with you on the go, high protein, takes a long time to eat, not gonna gain weight eating steak strips. Number five, low calorie protein bars. What you're looking for is at least 20 grams of protein in the bar and around 200 calories or possibly less. Some great choices, of course, I'm gonna mention my own, the Seco protein bar, 21 grams of protein, 200 calories. 11 grams of fiber, can't go wrong. But if you don't want the Seco bar, there are amazing alternatives. The Quest bar, the number one selling bar in the world. Also from Costco, a more affordable bar, the Kirkland protein bars, those are quite good. I used to eat those in the past. And any other bar that you find has about 20 grams of protein and around 200 calories or less, I would highly recommend those as a part of your weight loss snack. Right, baby Nikki? And number six, Quest protein chips. I've eaten these all the time in the past. They are quite expensive, but for me, well worth it. Around 130 calories and perhaps 20 grams of protein. How can you go wrong? It's an amazing snack, very salty, tasty, adds a lot of flavor. And so if you need a quick snack, but not a lot of calories, why not give Quest Protein Chips a try? And no, I'm not sponsored by these people. I have my own company. So yeah, I just like the chips. Number seven, homemade protein muffins, and not just regular muffins, anabolic muffins, like you'll find in my cookbook. I have so many amazing low calorie, high volume recipes in my cookbook, you would not believe it. If you don't have my cookbook, you can quite literally watch these recipes on my YouTube channel. Not that hard. Greg Doucette, protein muffins, blah, blah, blah. You'll find them. Watch the video and make them. And if you want to experiment and make these things on your own, you can, of course you can try. What you need to do is not cook with added butters, sugars, and extra calories. Add in protein powder. If you make substitutions, take out the butter, the sugars, the chocolates, the peanut butters, and so on, put lower calorie alternatives, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, pumpkin puree, egg whites, and so on, you can make healthy, delicious, low calorie alternatives. Yeah, it takes maybe 15 minutes to make them, but once you've made a big batch, you have them in the fridge. For example, right now, go to my fridge and you're gonna see what I got. 12 seconds later. And so how much work is it really to open up the container I need protein muffin. How hard is it to grab a low calorie, high protein muffin snack out of the fridge and eat it on the go, on the way to the gym, work, and so on? But yet, you got excuses. I don't have time. I don't have time. Bullshit, you don't have the desire to lose weight and do what you need to do to be proactive with your health. That is the truth. And the sooner you face up to it for yourself, the sooner you can make the necessary changes to lose the weight. Oh, but I have an expensive cookbook. I don't do anything for you. I have 1,500 videos on YouTube for free. This is a carrot apple muffin. This recipe literally is on YouTube. You type it in and you can make and eat it. You can eat the foods in the cookbook. I have several of them out there for free. And if you want, you can purchase the freaking cookbook. And I have tons of them. Meatless cookbooks, Power 13, Cookbook 2.0, regular cookbook, Circle Diet Book. I have so many books out there to help you. Trading books and so on. Just try searching, Google a little bit. You don't have the money, I get it, you can't afford it, but at least you can watch my videos. Leave a like, a comment, you know, like, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, that kind of stuff. That always helps me out. So if you can't afford a book, please type a comment in, like the video, promote it to your friends, and so on. I would greatly appreciate it if you can help promote me to your friends. Canned tuna, canned meat, low calorie meat and stuff, canned stuff, prepackaged stuff. It's not that hard. Can opener, you're good to go. I'm gonna go in the pantry, see what I got. Let's see what I got. And so I've got flakes of turkey, and what I see here is it's got 70 calories per one third of the can. 
And so that means there's 210 calories per gram and there's four grams of fat in a third. So four times three is 12 grams of fat. I would never buy this. This is in there. I don't do all my groceries. Perhaps Allie went and got it. This is too much fat. You want it to be packed in water, not in oil. What's this one? Solid light tuna in pure olive oil. When it's packed in oil, it's gonna be higher in calories. And so you're looking at a can, it says 120 calories. And you're thinking, well, that's not a lot, but this can is teeny. Regular can of tuna in water can have about 130 calories and be a lot more. This still has 18 grams of protein, 120 calories. So even though it's packed in oil, it's still pretty freaking impressive. And oil, it's debatable. Yeah, it's healthy. It's not that you want too much of it, but it does contain a lot more calories, nine calories per gram in comparison to carbs or protein only have four calories per gram. And so this has six grams of fat. And so if it was packed in water, probably have one gram of fat max, be a lot less calories, much higher in protein, perhaps 30 plus grams of protein. And what's this one? Flaked light tuna, sun-dried tomato, 110 calories per can, 16 grams of protein, four grams of fat, two grams of carbs. So not bad, but it could be a better choice, but very quick and easy. You just have to pull this little flap and you know what's in there. You love this stuff. You just pull this flap off and there you go. Also from Costco, I used to get the pre-packed cracker thingies with the tuna and you just open it up like that. You take your crackers, you dip it in the tuna, which has like mayo and stuff and you just eat it. Quick and easy go around 200 calories, plenty of protein. And so there's lots of delicious low calorie snacks that you can take with you on the go. You don't have to make things complicated. If you have something like this, it's gonna stop you from going to your favorite fast food restaurant or your donut shop. Right, Will Tennyson? You pack this with you go. You don't need to go and stop for donut or pizza sliced, hamburgers, and so on. You eat the snack, you're on the go. You come home, you can eat a nice and healthy meal that you cooked at home. And number nine, either low-fat Greek yogurt or low-fat cottage cheese. Take your pick. I prefer Greek yogurt, but others prefer cottage cheese. What it is is very high in protein, low in carbs, very low in fat. And so as you can see, I have this stuff in my fridge. This is stuff that I eat all the time. 100 calories, 17 grams of protein. What more do you need to know? Three quarters of a cup. 100 calories, 17 grams of protein. Scott's Burn cottage cheese, 0% fat to make it lowest in calories and per half cup, 100 calories, 17 grams of protein. They both have 100 calories per serving. Both have 17 grams of protein. Can't go wrong. And if it doesn't taste good, make it taste good. Add in some syrup, some sweetener, some protein powder. Put in something to make it taste better than the last time. There's no reason to make it taste boring. If you don't like the taste of something, make it taste good. If it's really highly ranked on the health scale, lots of protein, good for you, but low on the taste scale, add something to make it taste better. Bring it up. Bring it into your circle. It's down here below the circle down there. You don't really like the taste of it. Make it taste better. Add in the sweetener, syrup, and so on, jam, whatever. Bring it into your circle. Just make it taste better. And number 10, I had this for breakfast today, along with my poached egg on a bagel and guacamole and all kinds of goodness. Number 10 is Apple Dip Delight in the Meatless Cookbook. Very simple to make. In total, 255 calories. And so you take one scoop of protein, three tablespoons of low calorie maple syrup, two tablespoons of egg whites, add in a packet of sweetener, mix it up, and you're done! Honey crisp apples are my favorite, and if you want to eat even more, you can have two apples. Add only 100 extra calories, a large apple, 100 calories, have two large apples, the apple dip delight, you have 350 calories, 28 grams of protein, can't go wrong. Delicious, amazing snack, gonna keep you full and healthy. So there you have it, there's my top 10 low calorie list. If you're looking for low calorie delicious recipes, click the link in the description, get my freaking cookbook. If you don't know how to lose weight and keep it off, consider buying my Circle Diet book. It's my life's worth explaining exactly how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life. Really simple, so it's easy to understand. You can read it, understand it, you'll understand my life's work, or instead of that, just watch every freaking video I've ever made, 1500 videos, you'll know all of this information available to apply it. And if you can't afford a cookbook, please watch my anabolic recipe series. Me alone, as well as me and Allie, made recipes plenty. Type it in, watch the videos, make the recipes yourselves. French toast, lasagna, the list goes on and on. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IBB Pro. Please check out and watch one of the boobs. Also, the hard and last time supplements. All the stuff we talked about. Click the link in the description. Do it now. Comment for the algorithm. Subscribe. Click the bell button. You can hire me for coaching me and my team. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Come on, do it. 
And until next time, I am out.